Adding transfers to models is a great way to elevate them to new heights, and if done right, it can make them look painted on, which is huge for someone like me with hand tremors. However, I've never actually added transfers to models, and I don't really know what I'm doing. By the end of this, I'm determined to be able to consistently add transfers to models, or that's the plan anyway. Before trying transfers on my models, though, I'm going to practice on a bit of plan. Card. I want to try two techniques really quick to see if I can figure them out. For this first technique, I'm going to apply the transfer and use only water to do that. This is actually super fiddly to get in the right position, so it should make it really fun when I progress to doing this on a model. With that transfer in place, let's leave it to dry and move on to trying the second technique. I'm trying micro set and micro sol here, and apparently these two things together are like magic and make the transfer look like it's painted onto the model. With both halves of the plastic card dry, let's just seal them in with some matte varnish and take a look at how they've turned out. On the side with just water, can you see the transparent edges here to the transfer? This is actually called silvering, where you can see the outline of the transfer shimmering around the decal, and it's something you really want to avoid. On the side with micro set and micro saw, it looks like it's almost part of the paint job. It looks absolutely fantastic. Let's move on to the model themselves. I'm adding a layer of gloss varnish to all of the models in the areas that I'll be applying the transfers. This is important as it gives the area underneath the transfer a super smooth surface to sit on. First up I've got my Space Marines and they have a really nice curved shoulder which is a great test as a surface that isn't flat. Next up I've got my Fire Warriors and my Stealth Suits and these guys are from my current army so I care about them a lot and don't want to mess them up. With the gloss varnish dried on all the models, I'm going to move on to my first technique which is where I'm using water to apply the transfers and nothing else. The first thing I'm doing here is placing the transfer on a piece of kitchen towel and absolutely soaking it in loads of water. This will make sure that the transfer easily slides off the backing paper when I need it to. While that soaks, I'm going to add plenty of water to the model where the transfer is going. After about 60 seconds here, I'm sliding the transfer off onto my brush and then I'm placing it carefully on the model and nudging it into position. Once I'm happy with that placement, I'm then drying off the excess water with a piece of tissue paper. I'm then sealing the whole thing in with a matte varnish. Although I'm happy with how the matte varnish looks, I am not happy with how the transfer looks on the shoulder. The transfer just can't deal with the curved shoulder pad, so I really don't think this technique is any good whatsoever for any difficult curves or anything like that. I'd use it only on flat surfaces. Let's move on to the second technique, and I'm going to be doing two things here. The first thing is cutting the transfer in as many places as I can get away with, so I can wrap it around the shoulder shoulder pad. With four cuts, you can see I've already got a lot of flexibility, and even though I'm only using water here again, you can see how much better it's already wrapping to the shoulder. After drying the transfer off with a piece of tissue paper again, I'm going to get a hairdryer and then put it on a low heat. My theory is the heat from the hairdryer will gently soften the transfer and make it wrap around the shoulder, and honestly, this has worked out pretty well. Now for the technique that everybody is raving about, using Micro Set and Micro Sol. I use Micro Set on the model where the transfer is going. Reading through some comments on Reddit, it sounds like it helps the transfer adhere to the model a little bit better and honestly for how low cost it is to buy these in a pair I'll probably just continue using micro set instead of water when I'm using this technique. After drying the whole area with tissue again I then put micro set on right away. I'm going to leave that to dry and move on to my fire warrior following the same technique of using micro set drying it off with a little bit of tissue and then putting micro sol on right away again. After applying a matte varnish to both of the models, I've got to say this looks absolutely amazing. It's almost like the transfer has been painted on and the surrounding transparent bit has completely melted away. I can't see it regardless of how I tilt this in the light. I'm going to use that technique across the rest of my models here.
For the most part it goes really smoothly, but transfers are still really fiddly. Even though I kept the surface very wet, it seemed to almost stick and regardless of what I did with the brush, I just couldn't move the transfer around anymore. So to be safe and rather than risk the transfer sticking to the model in a really odd way, I decided to just rip it off and give it another go. After that one little mishap, everything else went really smoothly and more importantly everything was done really quickly. The stealth suits here were a bit of a challenge with their guns being circular but honestly it's not that big of a deal and I would definitely try this on all my models going forward because it does make them look really cool. That's all 18 models with transfers on and I've gone from having no experience at all with transfers to being actually pretty confident putting them on my models now. Even though Microset and Microsaw are by far my favourite technique and I can see why everybody recommends them, using a hairdryer and cutting into the transfer is definitely a close second so if you don't want to buy them I would definitely recommend just trying that technique instead. I also knew transfers would be fiddly but I had no idea how annoying they would be but you do sort of get into a groove with it. I'd encourage you to give it a go if you've never tried transfers before. They can feel intimidating but they really aren't that difficult and I'm really pleased I've got these skills now. One thing that would also improve your skills is checking out this video where I tried Try the slap chop technique and it was an absolute game changer for somebody with hand tremors so please do go ahead and check that out. If you're wondering about how to apply your own transfers and would like any advice you can find my Patreon in the description. Please check it out, it really supports the channel and I'd be really happy to help you figure out how to get them on your own models. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.